everybody. Welcome back. I hope you guys have all had a beautiful Christmas and are looking forward to the new year. I've got uh, three journals that I've completed that I want to just do a, a quick flip through and share with you. These are all listed in my shop. And starting here, this is named Strawberry Fields. This one is Faded Rose. And then this little journal here is Bumblebee. So I'm going to start with Strawberry Fields. This one is um, a slightly plainer journal than I normally do. I've kept this one pretty minimal on the embellishing. Uh, I've still added, you know, things throughout. Got a couple of pockets here, handmade items couple of journal cards, vintage papers, tea dyed papers, so a lot of space that you could still add pockets and things. These are original old um, letters and receipts. And I'll show you when I get to it. Um, this is uh, something I recently made with my patrons. It's a little uh, page hugger. So I've included that. Um, and as I said, you know, I've kept it very minimal on um, decorating beautiful papers here. Uh, I was going to see if I could get a date on the receipts in there. I don't know, but they were French vintage, so I think they were about late 1800s and then old, the vintage book pages as well. Uh, let's go see. Got 1894. And then this is a book page uh, tag pocket. And in the back I've just got a couple of double um, pocket there with uh, some handmade journal cards. Okay, so that is Strawberry Field. So that is in my shop. This one measures 575 by 8. Okay, the next one I have is Faded Rose. This is an altered envelope style journal. And this is an old key. That's not um, a replica. That's a genuine old key. I just liked it. Um, old doily there. Uh, the kit I used, I believe, was Nectar's Creations. Um, and I love this kit. It's, it is just beautiful. It's the colors that I like working in. Isn't it beautiful? So here on the front here I've got a journal card and um, this opens up. I've added extra <clears throat> journaling cards so that they could be used throughout the journal. So I've just made that little booklet there. Little tag. Um, and I probably won't pull everything out, uh, guys, because just for time purposes, but I'll just give you a, a flip through and you can see, and then whoever gets this will have some surprises to find. Stitching throughout, um, again, this is a very old, um, it's not, it's a letter that's been written, but um, I don't have the date on that, and it is in French. And then this was just one of those seed packets, and I've just added an image inside, so writing space here. I love these papers. Just such a pretty kit to work with. So as you can see, there's a lot of writing space in this one as well. Tuck spot here with another little card. And then this is a um, 
another tutorial I did with my patrons. We created some of these ephemera uh, pieces, and I love how that has come out. Uh, if you're interested in finding out about Patron, I have a link in my description box below. Here is a fabric altered index card, so you can do some journaling on the back of that. This is all stamped. I've done a tutorial for this. If you're interested in learning how to make one of those, more journal cards. Just love this paper. And these journals, uh, I'll measure this when we get done here. More writing space there. Got a tuck spot here. And a tuck spot on that side. And then another journal card. Just collaged with various scraps and laces and trims. And then another card in that tuck spot. And then here we've got a journal card inside the window envelope. Another pocket here with an uh, envelope and just a couple of things. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz um, slotted stitch dies. And I've just filled it with bits and pieces. So there you have it. That is uh, Faded Rose. And then the last one I've got is the Bumblebee. It's been ages since I've been working in this. I've been threatening for a while to, to go back and create one, and I finally found the time, and I love it. Lots of um, vintage laces I've put into this. The image, I've done the little charm, and then I've added a little bell there, so it's got a little bit of sound. And on the back here, you've got a pocket with a tag. I love this journal. Anything bees, you know I love it. So you got a journal card at the front um, with a big pocket here. A uh, couple of pockets here on this page. One of the page adornments. I love these. Um, some coffee dye paper there. And just a mix guys, of anything that um, coordinated color-wise, theme-wise, uh, it's in here. It was uh, really fun to, to get back working in, in these. And then this, I've just created a little, like a slide with the, the B images. And then this one is a glassine pocket that flips over and then over again. So you've got tags within that. As I said, I won't pull everything out. Various things in that little tuck spot. Some embossed paper. A couple of tags in there. I love this page and this book page pocket. It's got the tag down in there, a little charm. Book page here related to um, making the beehives. Or not the beehive. The, oh, you know. The, oh gosh. The things that the bees build in. Oh my goodness. Another senior moment. I thought it might have the name of it on there, but I don't know. So yeah, I enjoyed this working on this journal, as you can imagine. And I may have enough to do another one. I can't remember. I've got several things up there I'm working on again. Um, Pocket here, another pocket there with a little jar shaped tag. And then the 
this is another one. I like the little Polaroid. Love that. And then another, this is just full of different bits of ephemera, so that can be moved throughout the journal as well. And then this tag I've just clipped in. This is like an altered paper clip there. I love that. And on the back, I've done a coin envelope and then also a pocket beside. And then you've got a pocket here and then a pocket up here with a tag. So, so yeah. It was a lot of fun creating these. So, okay, guys, so that's what I've got in the shop so far. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great new year, and I'll be back hopefully very soon with more journals to share. Take care. Bye-bye.